remember when Revenge of the Fallen was way early on in pre-production. I remember hearing quite clearly that Mixmaster was going to be voiced by Mike freaking Patton. Do you know how stoked I was? I was at least this stoked. But he ended up as just another underdeveloped bad guy and he didn't even say anything. Still, nice toy. So yes, this is Revenge of the Fallen Mixmaster. This is a pretty stonk in robot mode. Check out all the pipes and chimneys he's got. It's like a walking chemical plant. Scientastic. It's kind of got that usual movie Independence Day kind of vibe going on. I mean, look at these arms. They're like big, horrid arcs of kibble and swearing. A bit like a wibbly sea monster. But they give him a nice round look and they make sure he takes up a crap load of room. His colours aren't that exciting. I mean, there's a lot of boring grey plastic going on here. And his pasty beetroot thighs don't help too much. He's a hell of a sight from behind, though. I see you, baby. Shaking that kibble. No, I jest. This is a pretty impressive bot mode. And if you're into the movie styles, this is a nice big wedge of Decepticon for you. He goes pretty well with Bone Crusher. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Oh, is he your friend? Oh, little friend. Oh, is your friend. Oh, friend. He's not my bloody friend, all right? This is fucking impossible. How does this work? So this is what's generously called the third mode. I don't think that's completely right, but it's not like the instructions are any help. I know this mode was in the movie and it's the only time the gun ever really works. But come on. That doesn't count as a third mode. I mean, does this count as a third mode? Just looks like he was running and then he tripped and landed on his face. Oh, yes, indeed. The movie line delivers hard once again. Just check this thing out. This is like my favourite alt mode so far. Come on, check it out. It is gorgeous. I'm all over this nice little cab and the purple windows and the detail all over is just unbelievable. And the colours are so slick. Aren't they, Skywarp? Yeah, boy. That's how we do it. I mean, look at this mess back here. Is that or is that not hot? The only other cement truck I've got is Micromaster Quick Mix, and I can't even make that comparison. Tragically, the cement drum itself doesn't spin or anything, but it totally makes up for it with these gigantic Decepticon insignias. Normally the faction symbols are really subtle, so they must have been having a laugh when they slapped those monsters on there. Nice one though, I dig it. So yeah, this guy's pretty solid as far as the movie line goes. If you're into the movie line, then you'll love it, and if you aren't, then you probably won't. I know, right? What an interesting thing to say. Shut up though. This is one of those figures where you either want it or you don't. I think it kicks ass, but if you're not already on board, then it's not going to change anyone's mind. This is Mixmaster, I've been Thew, and this has been probably the most boring conclusion I've ever come to. 